How's it going guys? The older that Forza Horizon 5 gets, the more we're starting to look forward to Forza Horizon 6. Now, Forza Horizon 6 is obviously going to be a thing, we're pretty damn sure of that, but the big question is, when is it coming? Well, the day is approaching. Next week is probably a day where we're going to find out if it is coming this year or not. We're going to discuss that today. Can we expect it this year? If we can't, when can we expect it? Just the general discussion about Horizon 6 in general. And we've actually got some news from Playground Games about what we can expect within Forza Horizon 6. So that's quite exciting as well. So the reason that the day might be approaching is because next week the Xbox Games Showcase is happening on June the 9th. So that's not this Sunday, next Sunday. Now because E3 isn't a thing anymore and 2021's E3 is where Horizon Horizon 5 was announced. If Horizon 6 is releasing and coming at the end of this year, like always, it's going to be shown in this Xbox Game Showcase. I have no doubt about it. I guess the real question is, is it going to be shown at all? Well, my personal belief is that we are not going to get Horizon 6 this year. That doesn't mean we might not hear anything in the Game Showcase next 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 year, uh, next week, sorry. Now that development cycles are changing, we're not getting a Horizon every X amount of years anymore. Same for Motorsport. It's all kind of changing. They could change it up a bit. They could actually mention and announce Horizon 6 to us next week but say we're still working on it though it's going to be another couple of years kind of thing just like they did with motorsport we knew that motorsport was coming a long time before it came all of the typical xbox insiders people who are a bit more clued up about what's going on behind the scenes none of them really seem to expect it to be coming certain articles do say that perhaps we will see a forza title be announced but then they do also remind us that playground games and the team behind forza horizon 5 are obviously working on fable nowadays as well so I have no doubts that Playground Games will have a section next week, but whether we'll hear about her Forza or not, I'm not so sure. It may just be Fable. I could be absolutely wrong though. There are certain little bits of evidence out there that we can look at that tells us that we're probably not getting it this year. It's exciting stuff though, it's stuff we can look forward to, but it just means we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. I think. I might be wrong. Nevertheless, it does seem like there is a certain chunk of the community out there that does think it's possible to hear an announcement of Forza Horizon 6. I just hope too many people aren't disappointed if we don't see it mentioned though, which is always a possibility. Now, what evidence do we have that tells us whether it's maybe coming or not? Well, last week there was actually a particular, I don't want to call it an announcement, but a bit of news came out from Playground Games essentially telling us what's going to be in Horizon 6 in returns to car models. Over on the troubleshooting hub where players post their issues about Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon, someone posted an issue, I'm pretty sure, regarding the Nissan Silvia Spec R car model. Very interestingly, one of the Forza support guys closed the thread because they are planning on rebuilding the car in the future, essentially giving it a fresh car model. This prompted them to make a little bit of a statement that says the following. We have a list of cars we're chasing down to be rebuilt. Really exciting stuff. It may take a while to get them shown up in games. They've got to source museum quality cars, sort the licensing out, and this could make take many months or even a year plus. The bit to note, however, is they say that once the refreshed cars do come out, it will be likely be within future games as they aren't able to just swap out the older models with the newer models in current games without it breaking. That's interesting. There's only two Forza things going on at the moment, Horizon and Motorsport. In terms of Motorsport, Forza Motorsport is still a fairly new game. And when I actually met the Turn 10 big bosses last year in Vegas, they did tell us that they don't have plans for Forza Motorsport 2. You know, it's Forza Motorsport. That's what it is now. That's what they're building upon. Forza Motorsport 2 isn't necessarily really going to be a thing, at least for, a, you know, a decade. It's a long time. What they're referring to here with future games has to be Horizon 6, which, if you look at the way they've worded things, it just doesn't sound like it's a game that's releasing this year. Do you see what, I'm, see what I mean? But the exciting thing to take from this is they have a list of cars that they are remodeling for Forza Horizon 6, and they actually gave us the list. So these are the list of cars so far that they're planning on getting museum quality cars of and redoing the models, presumably for Horizon 6. We've got the BMW M3 from 1992, the Dodge Viper GTS ACR from 99, the Ferrari 5 si uh, blah, 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 the Ferrari 5 to have <laughs> this thing. 
the Ford Focus RS from 2003, the Mazda RX-7 from 1997, Mitsubishi Evo 6MR, the Nissan Silvia Spec R that we just spoke about, the Nissan Skyline GTR R32, and the Toyota Trueno A86 from 85. Those are the nine cars that they've pointed out so far they're planning on remodeling. Wouldn't surprise me if there's going to be a lot more, but this is what they've announced to date. It's not really been an important announcement for them to make, but while we're on the topic of Horizon 6, it's definitely worth mentioning. So that's good to look forward to, I suppose. Back when we were discussing the new radio station that came to the game last month, someone made a very good point that I completely agree, that it's quite obvious that Horizon 6 is probably not that close right now with how many monthly car packs we're getting. It's a huge indicator that it's a long way off, and they're using it as a revenue stream that a new game would normally take place of completely right. I personally have no issues with the amount of car packs that are coming out at the moment because they obviously need the revenue. You may recognize this. This is the Forza release timeline that I made. It's a long time ago now, but I've recently updated it to be, well, as of now. We can see back in the day we have Forza Horizon releasing, we've got Forza Horizon 3 releasing, 4 releasing, Forza Motorsport on there as well. Well, if we skip to nowadays, we can see that little green notch is where we are now. We can see where Forza Motorsport Eight released. We can see where Forza Horizon 5 released along with the two expansions for Horizon 5. Now if we have a look in the past there's usually pretty consistently there has been relatively small gaps between the game and the expansions but then between the expansions and the next game releasing there's a very large gap of pretty much nothing and if we look to how we are now yeah that's a pretty big gap of nothing but if you look at all of those yellow dots for example those are all car packs and there's been an awful lot of them lately scattered all throughout the past uh, past year so when I look at this release timeline I see that we got the expansions and then straight after we got the expansions we started getting car packs even to this day there's a very good chance that the next update for Horizon 5 will also have a car pack so I just find it hard to believe that we're going to get a Horizon 6 in what four months five months if it comes in October like it usually has I just don't really see it being possible but it doesn't mean we're not going to hear about it next week I'm keeping my fingers crossed they, they're swapping it up they're mixing it up a bit and announcing Horizon 6 but not for this year just like they did with motorsport that would be amazing there's still a ton of stuff left to come for Forza Horizon 5 we know about the next few updates there's still a crap ton of leaked cars leaked updates things that we're pretty damn sure are coming car packs are still regularly coming i feel like there needs to be a pretty decent gap of at least a year between forza motorsport releasing and horizon 6 releasing at least a year and then the next gen thing is also a topic is forza horizon 5 uh, sorry forza horizon 6 going to be usable and playable on the old gen xbox or is it going to be exclusive to new gen which would kind of explain a step up in technology i'm not sure there's also been the talks lately of potentially xbox kind of going multi-platform and forza titles arriving at playstation maybe by the time horizon 6 becomes a thing it will also be a playstation title all we can really do is manage our expectations for next week in the xbox game showcase don't be too bummed out if we don't hear about horizon 6 just think about it this way the longer we wait for it the bigger the game is hopefully going to be. If you continue to follow this channel, we'll obviously talk all about Horizon 6 as and when we get the news. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below and I'll see you all later.